Let's make dried fruit chutney. This is very delicious. It goes with the pork, if you're having pork. It goes with chicken, it goes with turkey, it goes with toast, it goes with cheese. It's fantastic, your friends are gonna love it. Take a nice big saucepan. I'm gonna wait for the pan to get nice and hot. It got hot very quickly. I'm gonna put some olive oil in here. Into that, we're going to put two and a half shallots. Some are chopped finely and some are chopped in rounds. You wanna listen for that sound to make sure your pan is hot. Sweat the shallots. That's an English term and it means until they sort of release liquid. Okay, I've decided to add a, uh, an onion into the shallot base. So I'm just gonna do thin slices of onion. And here's the trick about onions. If your knife is sharp, no tears. And basically it's on a medium low heat. A Little bit of olive oil, you saw me put it in. I'm just cooking down or sweating these vegetables until they're translucent. Gonna throw a little salt in. You're gonna use liquids. The liquids are vinegar, white wine, uh, some water if you want, stock. You're gonna look at the consistency of what you're making and add or subtract accordingly. So when these are translucent and fragrant, we're going to put in our dried fruit. Let's cut up apricots, cherries, cranberries, and just roughly chopped figs and prunes, like that. So we're gonna cook this down by adding liquid. I'm gonna add some white wine until there is a visible liquid line, a little bit of vinegar. I'm telling you, your, your guests are gonna freak out. So you wanna be able to see liquid clearly. And then you're gonna turn it up. And you're gonna essentially boil it down. And one of the things that makes that happen is sugar. You've put a lot of vinegar and there's sour cherries in there. So you're gonna put a little bit of sugar in there, which is gonna thicken it and make it um, turn into chutney. I'm gonna just taste the liquid. It's already delicious. We're gonna reduce it, is the fancy word for that, from a very liquidy thing to a, almost like jam. It's gonna cook down now for about 20 minutes. We're gonna let it really bubble and bubble and toil and trouble over there. One big tip, it's looser when it's hot, so don't take it to the state that you want it to be when you serve it. Take it to a little bit looser than you want it to be because if you take it to the stage that you're gonna eat it in, it's gonna be a solid rock when you serve it, when it cools. So you'll see as we proceed with this that it's gonna cook down and I'm gonna take it off when it's like a little bit of a runny jam. If uh, you need to thin it or sweeten it, you can also use orange juice. It's a perfect thing to use for any chutney. Chutney. Let me tell you something. It's thick, look at that. Delicious, piquant. It's really a fancy gastrique if you wanna use a double fancy word. Really, chutney is uh, the perfect accompaniment for white meat, chicken, pork, even fish in some cases. Chutney, who can live without it? Not me. <laughs>